Check this little fella out. He's a cheeky one. He doesn't want to go in. <gasps> Exciting. What do you think, Mouse? It's so cute. Once we did that, the, uh, the doll works perfectly. Let's just try and get some extra karma. To do the, uh, the bathroom bunkie, it is a six by six floor plan. So that's where we're at right now. I sent to warp a little bit. That's because they got a little bit damp. Morning. It's the next day. I survived a night with the bears and the wolves and the things that he's been telling me he's been visiting him all week. So now we're cooking bacon. <laughs> so bring them in. <laughs> yeah, I've seen no wildlife. <laughs> I'll do whatever it takes. But yeah, had a good night's sleep. And now we're ready to tackle a few things this morning before I have to leave this afternoon. So I have to go back and do my motherly duties. Um, so what's the plan? Have breakfast, uh, then crack on with the monkey. Awesome sauce. All right, there's Mouse sporting her rather sexy incognito hat. Yeah. It's also a camo, which is why it looks like you can't see her head. Yeah. Yeah. If I wasn't wearing a purple jacket, you wouldn't know I was here. White shadow. Oh, where'd she go? Um, yeah, this one I've done. Nice, that looks good. This one you were cleaning up, so. Yeah, that's uh, good. There's my pile. So I'm just going to work my way around the back now. Um, this is one of these things that has to be done across the entire lot anyway, is removing all these lower branches, which are, um, it's for fire safety reasons. Um, a lot of trees tend to usually shed their lower branches to give more sustenance to the top of the tree when they're growing in forests, but these don't for some reason. Yeah. And these lower branches are a fire risk. So if a happened to be a small bit of fire, it would just... It would be a fire ladder, wouldn't it? It'd just go straight yeah. up the tree. Yeah. So that's why you're supposed to take all these lower branches off. Um, so I've got quite a few because I want to take them off all the way around the bathroom bunking and then I can help you. All right, I'm going to go and get some bug spray and then get started. Yeah. support the other day or yesterday because I'm like so I read through the instructions mm. and the instruction said put a screw in every corner to go down and I'm like oh well, I don't have enough screws what do you mean that? Said, oh no what we mean is if you want to you don't have to but if you want to you can use your index screws too. Check this little fella out. He's a cheeky one. He doesn't want to go in. So we have to coax him into his little house. Like this. You know, wiggle him in there. Wiggle him in. Oh, he's still not going to go, so I'm going a little higher. I'm going to wiggle him in there. Wiggle him in. Crikey. I'm going to have to take this little bugger out and try it again. In. Yes. I'm invincible. I had a thought, actually. We should challenge people to find all the pop culture references in our video that we're not quoting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, how obscure are they, though? Let's face it, it's usually like Star Trek, Star Wars. If you put it so it's over here. Yeah, I'm just... And then you can just bang both ends of the block. That's what she said. I'm in your way, aren't I? Okay, moving now. Yeah. 
That didn't work out too well. It's all good. I'll get there in my own time. All right. Like British Rail. Well, we'll come back later. Hey, so I had a thought just looking at this. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> don't look like that. Oh. No, just the window. This is a bathroom bunkie. Yeah, I thought about that. <laughs> and so, like, either we're going to have to put a curtain or a blind or some kind of, like, frosting on the glass, maybe? I don't know, something to think about. Maybe we need some ideas. Put it in the comments. What would you do? We need to frost it. Frost it. Or do we blind it? All right, so these ones I'll screw in. Yeah. And then the next ones are the, those longer roof supports. Oh, you know why I love you? You're one of those rare breeds. Okay. Men who read the instructions first. I've read that instructions like six times overnight trying to figure stuff out. That's love. ethical support. Love you. You're the, uh, you're the best. You're the goat. That ain't going anywhere. Such a dad thing. Right, do you want to grab the first roofy piece? <gasps> We're now on the roofy pieces. Does it matter which one? Uh, they're both the same. Oh yes, it very much does matter which one. But Matt won't realise this for at least another two hours. Sweetie, later. Uh, okay, I think we're ready for a stable. <gasps> Exciting! I know, right? Done. You never know it was broken. So when we got this delivered, the, just the corner piece of the AE gable was broken off in, in shipping. Um, but a bit of a bit of PL premium. Bit of love. I've got this thing standing on that middle one, I get kind of pushing. There. Like pushing. I am pushing. One, two, three. Um, Actually, if I can go to that end, and you can lift it onto that end to try. Just bring it all out, brought, bring it all in, we'll straddle it across here and then turn it. We'll um, pivot it into place. Pivot! Oh! Okay, that went in so easy, but was, I couldn't video it because I had to use both of my hands. That was way too easy. I know. I was like, finally. But that was... Well, sweet. Am I in your way? I need to no, move. I'm just going to do this door trim so I don't forget. And then we can do some, put the screws through the top there. Nice. I like it. Picasso. <laughs> it's like living with TikTok, wouldn't you? <laughs> I was neglecting you all by not videoing this bit. The roof is going on! In all fairness, I forgot to. <laughs> so 
What do you think, Mouse? It's so cute. I love it. All right. Swiss feel. It is. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So let's get a tarp thrown over it until we get the roof. Yeah. We'll get that stapled down. Yep. We can sort the door out. Hopefully that should be relatively quick. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then we can, sorry, <laughs> the wrong camera. And then we can uh, tidy up. All right, thanks to Mouse's stellar assistance, we've got the bunkie up. We've got a tarp on it until the roof arrives to go on it. And it's about, I don't know, 80%, 95%, no, about 85%. So, for my first bunkie, I'm okay with it. There's a couple of things we have to kind of figure out and just uh, finish off with it. But other than that, I think I'm good. So, uh, Mouse and I are going to run into town. We're going to get uh, a few things sorted out before she leaves. Tomorrow, I can work on just putting the floor down and maybe painting it. That's the plan. We'll catch you later. Good morning, it is Monday morning, bright and breezy. And hopefully, we're gonna get a guy showing up today to help us level the area for the bunkie. So that we're ready to build on our next trip. I'm a little bit, I am a little bit frustrated that we didn't get it built this time. But having gone through the experience and building the bathroom bunkie, this kind of, solidified the amount of work it's going to be to build the main bunkie so the bathroom bunkie was a great trial run into the building process for these bunky life bunkies my job for today is going to be to paint the uh the bathroom bunkie that we have uh, so, uh, i think we have rain coming tomorrow so i'd like to get it painted today so that it's relatively protected and if we get chance i'd like to see if we can try and get the floor in but I'm not going to overdo it. I'm not going to over overestimate myself, I think, for today. So, One of the challenges we ran into when we were building our bathroom bunkie was that the, the, top, the top two wall pieces have these uh, extensions that, that protrude a little bit further for the roof line. And I don't think it says it in the instructions, but they are directional. Does it matter which one? Uh, they're both the same. So we had them on the opposite sides and the backs are actually slightly shorter, which means that none of the roof panels or roof planks would line up. So we ended up, uh, Mouse and I yesterday, we had to take those off. And so what we did was we kind of cheated a little bit. We actually just unscrewed the gable and we just knocked it up with a rubber mallet. And then we were able to take out each side, swing it around, put it back in again, uh, swap them over and drop the, uh, drop the gables back down. The challenge with that, that we found out after we'd got the roof on and everything else, was that in the process of knocking it up, we also dragged the door up slightly. I had to trim the bottom of the door to make it fit because it got, kept sticking and it was uh, frustrating and annoying. And we went away, um, had some lunch, came back. And I noticed afterwards that there's a gap right underneath the, the, the bottom of the door all the way along. And I'm like, oh, great so what had happened was the door was dragged up when we knocked up the um the gable so uh we took some uh some of the pounding blocks and just put them on the top of the uh the door frame there and just managed to knock it down enough to actually get it seated back down into position and wouldn't you just know it once we did that the uh the door works perfectly <laughs> as it should the excavator guy has just shown up apparently no problem we can do this uh, so he's going to get working on that. He's going to bring his excavator down, start working away, which means that I can get on painting the bunkie.
we go. That was uh, Todd from Big Sky Excavating, I think. Yeah. So, uh, fantastic guy. If you ever need any work done in the Caribou, Todd and Randy and Dan from South Caribou uh, Excavating, they're all phenomenal guys. Really helped us out with, uh, with the leveling of the bunky pad and taken a lot of um, a lot of weight off my shoulders, both figuratively and really, I guess. All right. So this is what uh, Todd's managed to do for us. Uh, you can see he's got it dug down, so it's all level. It's all in the same plane now. He even brought up the gravel that we had delivered, dropped it onto the uh, onto the pad here, flattened it down, leveled it. There's no way I could have done that by myself. I'm sure you didn't really want to watch me paint the whole thing. Uh, so here's the after effect. This is going to be protected now from uh, the rains that are supposed to be coming tomorrow. Uh, it's drying pretty quick, so that's good. So I'm going to get tidied up here. I'm going to grab some uh, something to drink, maybe a bite to eat. Let's see if I can get the floor down today. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. If I can get the floor down today, then... Uh, that's pretty much it until we get the roof done. Um, there's a little bit of roof uh, fascia board that we have to put up, uh, but I'm gonna leave that now until we actually get the roof itself uh, so I can do it all at once. Um, hopefully the tarp will keep things pretty dry on the roof side for now. Now this might sound a bit superstitious, but I'm a big believer in karma and doing things right and whatnot. And given that we had those animal bones on our property for a while that Mouse wanted me to remove, uh, and I dug up uh, those two big jaw bones the other day when doing the foundation for the, uh, for the bathroom bunkie, I thought, you know what? Let's just try and get some extra karma and uh, Hopefully that help, might help me finish out the week on a good, strong, positive note. So I'm going to take uh, the bones that uh, we dug up and I'm going to go and find somewhere to bury them. A little more dignified than just throwing them on the scrap heap. So I'm going to do that and hopefully then the, uh, the big moose spirit that lives here on the property can perhaps throw me a bone. Right, in an amazing turn of events, I think burying those bones actually worked. Because I had a chat with a neighbor and said, yeah, if you want to leave the ATV here, you can do, that's not a problem. Like, great. That means I don't have to worry about the trailer. And as I was coming out, I hit a pothole, a big pothole with the trailer. And now it's just vibrating. And they actually called me up and said, hey, your trailer's ready, it's fixed. Just wanted some bearings. It's all done, ready to go. I'm like, already? Um, so I'm going to get this floor down, uh, I'm all giddy and excited now. Uh, I'm going to get this floor down and, uh, tidy up so that we're, we're good to go. Go and pick up the trailer, come back, pack up, worship the bones once more just for good luck. And, uh, then I'm going home today. And I didn't think I'd be saying this because, you know, I mean, it's a beautiful place here. Um, but I've had a week of just living in a tent trying to do work and I'm about ready for a break. So I can do that and I can pick up my parents from the airport tomorrow. This has been a score all the way around. <laughs>
Now, this last board here needs to be uh, cut down because it's obviously too narrow for a full board. Um, I'm actually going to take that home with me uh, and do it on the table saw at home so it's a nice uh, clean chop. I'll measure that before I go, um, but I have two spare boards. So I'm going to actually just put one down on top uh, just so it's uh, safe from little critters and uh, then we can take the other one home and cut it. Bathroom bunkie is almost there. We have to do the roof at some point. Uh, obviously get that final four panel put in. But right now, I think we're done for now. Uh, I'm gonna get packed up and try and go and pick up the trailer. It is not straight at all, that piece. I got one right. I don't wanna to sweat too much over a tiny amount. Tell me your frustrations, Mouse. Sucks. 